Torture hoarding. Yeah, Only I can touch it. Simple words from a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> a legend. organization and their their quest for organ donation and tissue do donation um, knowing very little about this and learning a lot through the process I selected Brendan to be our torch runner um, just because he was in my kinesiology class and 
we all knew that he was a good runner, a good candidate for this process. I talked to him this morning a little bit about organ donation, and uh, it was a good thing that he was on board with this, because I forgot to ask him if he was a supporter, and thank goodness he was. <laughs> um, we, were, we started this off uh, with George Marcello, and um, I'm not sure if he'll talk a little bit about who he is and what he does. I'll leave that up to him in, in a little while. He wants to get his video going. But uh, Brendan and I started at 1 o'clock at City Hall, where we were met by Mayor Len Compton and some of the other um, sidekicks. I don't know what you call them. Um, Council. Councillors, good. <laughs> Councillors. And uh, at that point in time, the mayor thanked George for coming to Kenora. Um, and also the councillors lit the torch for Brendan and, and talked a little bit about how important it was for George to be in our community to, to promote organ donation and tissue donation. Um, George is a recipient of a liver. He, um, I just heard through the conversation downtown that this is his second liver, that transplant. He has walked across Canada um, promoting organ donation and tissue donation. We had some conversations about that briefly in my car as we were videotaping Brendan. Um, Brendan has been selected for Kenora to be the high school runner. There was one selected in Dryden and all across Canada each high school will have a student. Brendan is the last student in Ontario to carry the torch. Um, and I'll, I'll let you talk about your privilege about that torch, but in a minute. And um, out of all of the high school students running across Canada with this torch, 12 of them from each province, so one from each province, 12 of the recipients will, um, might be a lucky candidate to go off to a Toronto um, convention where they will represent um, their province. And out of that, one person out of the 12 will be selected as the Canadian Torch Runner for Canada. So that could be Brendan. So cross your fingers for that. Hey. 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 just wants to share a little bit with you about um, the torch, why, it, why he family. feels yeah. it's an honor today. Because I don't think he, he fully felt that until the torch was lit. So you can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, supposedly the torch has been touched by a thousand people, so that's a great honor. And also the Pope, Paul, has also blessed this torch. So for me to be touching this and running with it lit is amazing. So. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and uh, we stopped at 9th Street Confectionery for half an hour so he could edit and put this presentation on for you. So due to technical, technical, we're good to go? I think we're good to go. We're good. Some big heads we're in front good? on a Thank goodness Miss Blake ran into you. Are you nervous? Do you have any questions about why they're running this? <laughs> Has anybody heard this being promoted on the radio? I don't listen to anyone. Okay, Mrs. Mills is the only one. Um, not many people in the Kenora community them, know about them, this run. Like and it was very unfortunate when we were running through town that we didn't plan a better route so that more people would be aware of what Brendan was doing and why he was doing it. Um, we feel that we got very little coverage and should have received a lot more. So if we ever get this opportunity again, Broncos were going big. Okay. I want us to decide the hero, not the yeah. creepy videotape man. You're just creeping on me. Look at that eyeball. <laughs> <laughs>